the national teams also fared very differently across the various uh, competitions and tournaments that they played in. The Black Stars were in the AFCON, as were the under-20 team and also the women's national teams. This is a review by uh, Yao Ofosolabi. 2019, a massive year for sports in Ghana. But in its entirety, it'll be a year many sports-loving fans would want to forget. Football wasn't great, but before we touch on the lowest points, let's focus a bit on the apps. Ghana's 4x100 relay team were brilliant on the tracks at the All-Africa Games, winning gold for the first time since the Leo Miles Mills-led team of 2003. Martin Ousuenchi, Joseph Paul Amoa, Benjamin Azamati and Sean Safuenchi went into the tournament as underdogs and were brilliant, running a time under 39 seconds. It wasn't just the relay team that was exceptional. Rose Amwenima Yeboa jumped a massive 1.87 meters to win gold in Rabat. Ghana's medal count dropped in comparison to the previous years at the African Games and it only consolidates the effects of poor planning. It is the African Cup of Nations round of 16 match between the Black Stars of Ghana and the Carthage Eagles of Tunisia. To football now, where Ghana's fortunes weren't too good, where only one nemesis read its head over and over again. Penalties. For the very first time in the history of African football, Tunisia get to kick out Ghana and they have done that in great style. In five tournaments competed by five of the eight national teams, not a single trophy was annexed by any of the national football teams. The Black Stars had been the taste of the African Cup of Nations for the past six seasons. They got into this year's tournament and were taken out by a Tunisian side that looked out of sorts at the group stages of the competition. As the year wore on, the Black Stars improved, winning back-to-back -back games against South Africa and Sao Tome and ending the year amongst the top 50 teams in the world. A clear improvement from the beginning of the year when Ghana began in the 52nd position. The B team also strode through to the final of the Wafu tournament only to lose on penalties to Senegal. Maxwell Kunedu's side still couldn't grab a place at the African Nations Championships in 2020 after they were beaten by Burkina Faso. Arguably the best national soccer team of the year, the Black Meteors amidst tough circumstances were a penalty away from qualifying for the Olympic Games for the first time in 14 years. The team made it to the tournament after beating Algeria by two goals to one on aggregate. Ghana missed out on qualification to next year's Olympic Games in Tokyo after losing to South Africa 6-5 on penalties. On club front, Kumasiya, Santikotoko and Ashanti Gold were in different Pan-African club competitions trying to fly the flag of Ghana but they were dumped out of the competition without getting into the money zone. Messi Tego's Black Queens were a curious case. They managed to keep their rating on the continent but dropped significantly in the global rankings from 51st in March to 60th in December. The slip is as a result of defeat in the 2020 Olympic Games qualifier against Kenya. However gloomy this year has been for Ghana football, there were some huge wins. The focus now to be to hammer the wins and put up good structures to better the areas where we missed out badly. Football, though, is looking up now under the new administration at the Ghana Football Association. And long may it continue.